Do you know those weird cars with big weird cameras on the roof working for Google, being followed by random dogs and creating the proof that you were at the coffee bar instead of working in the office? Now you are able to do it by yourself. You are able to create Google Street View maps by yourself, mapping undiscovered roads and showing new places. Everything you need is a pilot error. In this video I'll show you everything you have to know about Google Street View mode of Pilot Era. Google Street View mode allows you to create maps, or exactly allows to create a 360 virtual tour of a road which can be viewed on Google Street View app or Google Maps where it is showed as a blue line. But let's take a look at the camera. From home open camera and select Google Street View video. Here there is the live preview and there is the usual HDD. On top right you can change the view mode or also tapping twice on the screen. At the top left there are GPS coordinates. When the icon is grey this means that there is no GPS signal. If Pilot Air will not be connected to the GPS you will not be able to record the Google Street View video. And when the icon becomes blue this means that the camera is connected to GPS and you can shoot. At the bottom there is the Pro mode which allows you to manually set the ISO, the exposure value and the stitching focus. And then there is the gallery, the shutter button and the settings where you can set the countdown. Google Street View mode records an 8K video at 7 FPS with geodatas in every frame. Basically what you have to do is to put the camera on the roof of a car or use a backpack with the stick and ride or walk wherever you want. Once you finish the recording the video will be saved in the gallery and you'll be able to suddenly watch it because it's already stitched. Simply open the gallery, find your video which will have a Google Street View logo at the top right and press on play. At the top you'll see the status of your Google Street View video. Ready for upload if you didn't upload it yet, processing if you uploaded the video and Google is still processing it, released when your video has been published. These icons are visible also in the gallery. If you didn't upload the video yet, it is possible to do it by tapping on the upload icon at the bottom center, select Google Street View, sign in with your Google account, decide if blurring faces and license plates, and select upload. A pop-up regarding the content policy will appear and you can read it open in the link and if you agree, select continue and the upload will begin. When the upload will finish, Google will process the footage. If everything is ok, your footage will be visible on Google Street View app and Google Maps in around 48 hours. It is also possible to upload single photos in the same way or to select more photos to upload on Google Street View. To select more photos, from the gallery tap on the upload icon at the bottom center and select Google Street View, then select the photos. If you have already uploaded a photo, it will have the Google Street View logo with the green check mark. After you have selected the photos, tap on Upload at the bottom right. It is also possible to control Pilot Era with the mobile app Pilot Go for the recording, which is really comfortable if you make the shooting with the car. Comments are the same, but for now it is not possible to upload on Google Street View through the app. It is possible to control Pilot Era also through Google Street View app. You can do it by following these steps. Open the hotspot on Pilot Era, turn on the Wi-Fi on the phone and connect to the Wi-Fi Pilot Era name of your camera .osc. The name of the camera has to have less than 10 characters or Google Street View app will not connect. If it's necessary, on Pilot Era set the Pro mode because this will affect the footage. Then exit the shooting mode and open Google Street View app. If you did everything well, you will see that your app is connected to the pilot and it will suddenly ask you if you want to import your existing pictures and videos from the camera. You'll be able to watch them scrolling down. Tap on the blue icon at the bottom right to enter the shooting mode. The HUD will show you your position on the map, your shooting mode which could be single or with intervals, the shutter button, the info button which tells you more about your shooting mode, the battery level of the camera and the HDR which can be enabled or not. HDR is available only for single photos and it's a bracketing HDR. It will take three photos with different exposures and merge them together. Sometimes you can have the black screen with the loading icon because being connected to the camera Google Street View app can't load them up and show you your position, but it will appear when you take the intervalled photos. Which is the difference between using only Pilot Era and using a Google Street View app? On Pilot Era, as well as on Pilot Go app, 
there is the live preview every time while on google street view app you see yourself moving on the map but not the live preview of what the camera sees but using google street view apps the geodata depends on the phone and not on the camera so even if the pilot has no gps sign out it is possible to shoot in google street view mode using one or another depends on the situation thank you for watching this video have a nice day